Oh man, this heat wave makes sitting outside like being in a sauna. It's all right. Uh, today's uh, subject is that of alkaline water. By the way, did you notice or have you noticed that a lot of these machines that are alkaline water machines, the Kagan water machine, which was part of a multi-level marketing scam, uh, where these things were going for $3,500, $4,000 for a alkaline water machine, they're now called water ionizers. Most of this is marketing. The thumbnail for this video shows my Jupiter Athena water alkalinizer, which is now called an ionizer. And I bought it about maybe seven, eight years ago when this whole subject of alkaline acidity which is acid and base, which is basic physiology, was being discussed. And then a poorly researched theory, which then becomes fact that is not researched, about eating an alkaline diet versus an acidifying diet. Did you know? There is no such thing as an alkaline diet or an acid diet. There is such a thing as eating high nutritional, high protein, and high animal fat, proper human diet versus processed food, sugar, and, uh, and I'll do the one on sugar where I show you Literally, there's about 80 names now for sugar on a package. But you don't have to worry about it. You stay in the 20% of the market where the, there, there, is no, there are no ingredients. Meat is meat, produce is produce, fruit is fruit. Uh, so back to the alkaline uh, issue. My, at the time, this Jupiter Athena water alkalinizer cost me about $2,600. It is now a high level water filter to remove sediment from the water prior to it going into my water distiller, which I already made a video about. And the reason why I do that, and there's four stages of filtration in that, two within the um, ionizer itself and two outside, the reason you do that is to just to increase the lifespan of your distiller and then you have to descale it less. So, basic human phys physiology. You're drinking alkaline water, 8.5, 9.5 pH. The stomach's pH is highly, highly acidic. Hmm, wonder why. So, and it has to be like 1.2 to 2.0, 2.2, because it is what is required to break down food and is re required to actually be the first line of your uh, immune system. Remember, 60% of the immune system is in the gut, the GI tract. So if you're drinking high alkaline, this means high base, water, you are then neutralizing your stomach acid because that's the first place it goes, right into the stomach acid. So first rule, never drink alkaline water while you are eating. Second rule, think about the marketing and you've got to go into the history of this nonsense about the alkalinizing diet versus the uh, acid, acid diet and does it make any sense? Does it cut scientific research? Does it pass go? And the answer is invariably, it does not. 
So, by the time your alkaline water gets into your system, it is no longer alkaline. Remember, as I mentioned, the blood pH must be maintained in a very tight range. On average, pH 7.465. Again, pH, which is a measure of base and alkaline, uh, I mean, uh, alkaline and acid balance, 7.465. There's no water that's going to change your basic physiology from acid to base. It can't be do it. It can't do that. What they do is very effective marketing. And um, are there any benefits to? So yeah, your body has to maintain that. No water that you drink. All it's going to do is force your body to react, to neutralize it. And by the time it gets into your bloodstream, it's going to be fairly neutral. pH is about 7.6.9 to 7.1, somewhere in there. And then your body makes the, the appropriate adjustments. Uh, so, yeah, there's no such thing as alkaline water being healthy for you. I mean, is it bad for you? Yes, it's bad for you if you drink it while you're uh, eating because you're neutralizing your, your gastric acid stomach acid and um that's not good uh at this point i see no reason to to even invest in alkaline water especially if it's more expensive and i see no reason to invest in an ionizer that's the new term slash alkalinizer machine they're too damn expensive uh, the replacement filters are too damn expensive and you get very little health benefit, if any. And for a lot of you, it's a negative health benefit because you're neutralizing your stomach acid. And a lot of us right now, our stomach acids are actually uh, too high, uh, not enough acid, so too high in alkalinity. And when I say that, I'm talking about Okay, let's say 2.0 is in the upper range. 2.0 is still extremely acid. But if it even goes to 3.0, still extremely acid, you can't get the benefits of your stomach acid. Uh, and a lot of people with uh, reflux, a.k.a. acid reflux, heartburn, have low stomach acid, but of course, it's still acid. And so when it refluxes, because it can't break down the food, uh, you get reflux. And what do the doctors do? They give you stuff to reduce the acidity, knowing that this opens you up for a whole host of problems. Um, if you're recovering from any type of cold, flu, uh, bacterial infection, do not use alkaline water. You need that stomach acid. All right, it is literally your second line of defense. First line being your nasal uh, 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 passages and your uh, saliva. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't recommend alkaline water. There's no research to support it. Uh, this common sense that says, yeah, this whole thing about alkaline diets, acidifying diets, it's all nonsense. There is only one thing to do. Get rid of the sugar, drink pure, clean water. So let's talk about pure, clean water. My number one choice, and I have two of them, is water distillation. Second, reverse osmosis water. You got to keep those filters up to date. Third, spring water in a glass bottle. But remember, even the spring water that is collected has a, a certain amount of toxins in it because of the all the chemtrails that are coming down on it and all the other pollutants that, that potentially uh, can affect the water supply. But those are my three. If I'm on vacation, I, you know, you gotta, you, you, then you gotta go as, you know, what is the least worst? Um, that's why a lot of times I don't like traveling outside of the United States because I can't get what I want. So that, that's basically it. There's no 
scientific research that support this whole concept of an alkalizing diet. This was uh, Dr. Sebi, by the way, came up with this nonsense. He said, and he really believed it. Now, the issue is most of you that will be health conscious enough to use alkaline water will also be adjusting your diet to a non-processed food, lower sugar, low uh, 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 crappy diet, uh, lower in the hopefully vegetable oils and all the stuff that I've spoken about before. You will naturally be doing that, so you'll be healthier. So alkaline water is, everyone's going to come across it. Everyone that is on a health conscious journey will use it and eventually realize it's more marketing hype than it is scientific, scientifically backed research. So, yeah, I don't recommend it. But if you're going to drink it, drink it uh, because you st it's still hydration. The water's clean. It's probably okay. You don't need high, high alkaline water. I mean, 7.5 to 8 will do fine. And you're drinking it for hydration, not to alkalinize your body. That is an impossibility. You cannot eat an acidic diet. You cannot eat an alkaline diet. Your body maintains tight control over your blood pH. All right? Again, even the natural health movement has its dark side to it. And uh, it's our job to stay vigilant, stay on top of the latest information, stay on top of the science. That's my job. This is what I do for you guys is stay on top of the science. Yeah, no scientific evidence to show that alkaline water confers any health benefits. All right, later.